Revzilla TV. And today we're going to detail the Revit Navigator Jacket. It is a four season high end sport and adventure touring jacket with a little bit less of a mute, or a little bit more of a muted style than the Cayenne Pro. So, starting off from an application stand, standpoint, as I did mention, this is a four season jacket. It has a removable liner system. It's got the Hydrotech Z wind water liner that's going to be waterproof and breathable. It's basically Revit's version of Gore Tex. It also has the X-Skin Thermal Liner, which is the same thermal liner that's used by the Cayenne Pro. Basically, this liner is half the thickness of DuPont Thermalite, but four times the warmth. So what ends up happening is you get a lower degree of temperature rating on this coat without the bulkiness of you know, a typical or more mid-range jacket that's got to really add weight or add beef to it to uh, get to that colder, uh, colder temperature range. The other upgrades on this coat are going to be Pro-Life CE Level 2 Armor in both the shoulders as well as the elbows and you can upgrade to either a Knox or a Sastec back protector for this coat. It does come with temper foam. You're going to notice that we have scotch light reflective paneling. We also have our VCS system which is waterproof seam sealed zippers on both the arms, the chest, as well as Patrick. Why don't you spin around for me? going to have them on the back as well, some ventilation systems down here. So really at speed while you're riding with those vents open on the chest and on the arms, you're going to have the Venturi effect which is going to suck cool in air and or cool air in and it's going to exhaust through the back. Also with this coat, another key feature is super fabric. And this is one of the few pieces in the Revit lineup aside from the Cayenne Pro, the Turbine Hot Weather Jacket and the Infinity Suit that's going to offer this feature. And what it is is it's tiny ceramic welded or tiny laser welded ceramic plates that are four times as abrasion resistant as, le as leather and 14 times as abrasion resistant as Kevlar. And what that means, you know, in, in layman's terms is that if you go down in an impact area, your elbow is going to your elbow is going to contact the ground most likely whether you're high side or low side. You can slide on it four times longer before it would burn through than if it was leather. Um, fitment on this jacket is going to be a little bit different. It's a little more roomy. Revit calls it its touring cut. It's more of a box cut. It's the same cut as uh, the Dragon jacket. The Cayenne Pro and some of the other jackets have more sport cut. So it's going to be tighter in the arms, tighter in the chest. The big thing about this jacket is for fall 2009 we just reduced the price. It's now 25% off of the original retail price which was about five and a half. We have it now for close to $400, which is about 25% off. Um, it's really is a steal. You know, if you're looking at some of the more mid-range jackets, to upgrade to this jacket for just a few more dollars versus having to spend the $500 plus price point to go into that Cayenne Pro territory, you're going to get the same temperature rating, you're going to get the same abrasion resistance and protection. The, the big key difference is that the, the Cayenne Pro is going to use Sastec armor. So basically the only thing you're giving up with this jacket versus a Cayenne Pro is going to be the Sastec armor. You have the same outer shell for protection, you have the same abrasion resistant super fabric panels on the elbows, and then you have the same X-Skin liner which has the same temperature degree um, rating. So as you can see, you have an all season jacket with high degree of protection at a medium price point even though this is a high end jacket and that's due to the fact that we, are, we do have them on sale right now. Um, the Revit Navigator jacket available at RevZilla.com. You can always give us a ring with any questions and comments at 877-792-9455 or see us at RevZilla.com. Thanks for tuning in.